before we proceed please subscribe the channel if you haven't done so far and like this like the video share it with your friends to share the knowledge i have received this comment like how to request the editor to reduce the apc that is article processing charges so in this video we are going to see what are the do's and don'ts before you write a letter you should remember that and then we will see the template of how to write the what is the format of writing the letter i have also i'll also just leave this uh, letter format link in the description you can check that so first one which you should remember that you should be polite while writing the letter so that is the words whatever the words you are using that should be very polite and it should be very structured manner you should not uh, uh, like uh, in the starting you should not uh, uh, write directly the content and then in the in the middle of the thing you should not start uh, about your journal title and everything so it should be structured format first you have to introduce something about yourself like a simple one line and then you have to tell about the your journal article and why you are requesting for the wave off okay the next one is easy to read that is the article editor they don't have they won't be having any time to read the uh, paragraph okay so it should be easy to read it should convey the clear message okay your message message should be very very clear it should convey a clear message and it should be purposeful okay you should say the purpose of your letter or an email and it should be relevant to what you are going to write that is a context and it should be simple and short and before you send please proofread it okay so the next one is like don'ts avoid acronyms or jargons so you should not use acronyms or jargons keep it simple and short i like as we told don't repeat whatever is there in the article like if you are if you wanted to write something don't repeat it in the article or even if you have written something in the first line don't repeat the same sentence in the uh, last line as well so uh, avoid repeated points so this two are interrelated so you should not use repeated words so let us see <clears throat> before uh, these things you should understand that by default all the journals will give you wave off if our country is uh, considered to be a low income country okay because in the world bank country and lending groups we have a specific set of country which are uh, having low income okay so that countries will be uh, listed here so if you take east asia and uh, pacific america samoa korea philippines so these countries are considered to be a low income country okay if you take europe and central asia what are the countries nearly 58 countries are considered to be low income country likewise we have a specific set of uh, countries which are considered to be low income sorry so here it comes low uh, middle lower to middle income economies okay here you can see here they have just see low income economies or less than so these are all considered to be the low income okay here they have uh, mentioned all the countries okay here they have mentioned all the countries and uh, if you just come down you can see low income economies country and this you can see afghanistan so if you are from india definitely our country is not considered to be a low income country so we will not be are uh, coming under this category that is low income country so if you in anywhere if you go to the journal you can see uh, offers waivers and discounts for article processing charges whose author are be based on low income countries okay this you can see of course every journal will give you this wave off okay so you can check here uh, who are considered to be a low income country if you are watching this video from a different country then you can check so these are all considered to be the high income economies if you just go and search india so this is south asia right so this is lower to middle income economies so yes of course you can uh, tell this reason as you are uh, from a lower to middle income country okay so this before uh, uh, before using this reason you have to check whether really we are under that okay so let us uh, come back to the uh, format of the letter okay so this is the letter format if you are drafting a letter and if you are going to send it through mail okay this is not email if you are send it through a postal mail 
probably we are not into this culture but anyhow we are just moving uh, forward uh, by sending the emails and all anyhow i'm just showing both the thing so this is request letter to wave of apc so you have to write your name affiliation and your address and the date so you have to start with the polite manner that is dear editor if you know the name you can write the editor name here okay so how to check the editor name you can go to any uh, any journal you want okay so let me take a um, journal so i'm just taking a data mining journal randomly Mm. so in that journal you can see the editor name okay um go, let us go to the springer journal this is data mining and knowledge discovery journal and here if you just click here contact the journal okay so you will get that this is any related to submission related queries you can uh, contact anand raghuram uh, sorry anand arumugam Uh, next is production related inquiries nazila usman so these are they have they have given that uh, specific name along with the mail id so you can definitely make use of it and uh, if you want see this is all the apc charges if you want the springer support you can find the name of the editor here itself so you can write the editor name if you are not if you are not getting the proper name then definitely you can use dear editor okay and then i am uh, i am you can write your name working as your designation in affiliation that is working as assistant professor or whatever your designation is and in which college you are working is willing to submit my article in your esteemed journal these are all the polite words you have to use and you have to mention the journal name as well which journal because under one publisher they may have multiple journals okay so you have to definitely specify the name of the journal so the article is under the scope of your your article okay so my article is under the scope of your renown journal so the second thing is you have to confirm that your article is under their sco scope you have to check all these things before you send this mail but financially i am unable to pay the full article processing charges because okay you have to write the reason you can if you are uh, if you are from a low income country listed by the world bank of bank country then you can definitely write that so uh, i am from low income economies country which is listed here you can also give the reference okay if that is the reason no if you have a different reason for example you may be a single income uh, holder in your uh, uh, family then you can write because i am a single income i am a, uh, my family is having only single income so uh, i am unable to uh, process this complete article processing charges that is this complete charges so you can write that as well and uh, you can write a proper reason okay don't give a, uh, a uh, there is a reason which is not relevant to you give a proper reason and then it will be helpful if you waive off the article processing charges for me so you have to tell finally you have to tell that it will be very helpful for me okay if you want to assure something for example um uh, i will be and i'll uh, be uh, spreading this kindful spreading this kindness to my colleagues uh, where they can also be ready to publish their papers okay submit their articles in your esteemed journal you can write this or else if you don't want this to be written you can simply delete this you don't want to write this but these three things are very very important in this you can find also check in these things you can find that your uh, letter is polite it's very structured because you are starting from your introduction and then you are uh, telling that that is in the scope of your journal scope of that particular journal and you are not financially uh, eligible to complete uh, pay the article uh, processing charges or you can tell the proper reason and uh, it will be helpful so finally you are just uh, you have written simple and short and clear message relevant to the context and then you are sending it 
okay thank you for your time and consideration i look forward to hearing a positive response or reply from you sincerely you can write your name okay this is for a letter if you are writing a ma mail or as if you are writing an email then you can write, uh, get the receipt see this is i am just showing this as a sample journal okay uh, so you can get the mail id from the journal home page itself so if you are if you want to send the mail to anand armugam then you can get this and paste it here okay and then subject request to waive of processing charges or article processing charges so here you can see that i'm not using any jargons or uh, uh, any short words like apc you have to um, completely write okay and then dear editor okay uh, editor name if you are writing an email you don't want to write name and everything name affiliation and everything but here you have to mention what is your name working as a designation affiliation is willing to submit an article in your steam journal you can write the journal name see i have used in the parenthesis it is doesn't mean that you have to write your name inside the parenthesis okay you have to write it here you have to delete it and you have to write it here okay working as okay what is your uh, okay in affiliation in where in which place you are working you have to write it my article esteemed journal your journal okay journal name the complete name you have to write okay data mining and knowledge whatever the name of the journal you can you have to write that the article is under the scope of the renovant journal if you want to specify the link of the scope you can copy and paste the link here financially what is the reason because delete this and write the reason uh, completely and it will be helpful if you waive off the article processing charges for me thank you for your time and consideration i look forward to hear from you sincerely you can write your name along with your designation and everything ensure that all the font are of same size okay just copy uh, select everything and here you can see that you can make it as uh, a serif is also fine okay our garment or georgia anything is fine this looks very um what to say very professional and then don't give any italics or bold or something and then make all the uh, text to be normal okay and see this is the proofreading so because uh, <clears throat> you have to check whether what are the uh, thing which you have you are leaving a grammatical mistake or something like that you can proofread here if you want to know more about the proofreading tools or online links please leave a comment i'll be definitely helping you out okay so once if it is done you can write a sincerely dr gomati and you can you have to write the uh, complete affiliation and everything here and then send it to the editor hope you find this video very useful if you want to if you need any other template format or something else please leave a message leave a comment in the comment box i'll be definitely helping you out thank you take care bye bye